Good morning. Today I'm on top of the levee of Attic's Reservoir here in West Houston. And today we're going to go look for the old Bear Creek Schutzen Baron. And I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, but it's German for gun club. Uh, this whole area of west of Houston was settled by German immigrants in the mid to late 1800s. And they all had these, all the communities had these little gun clubs. And right around here there were four of them. And every Sunday you rotated which location you met at. So there was the Bear Creek location. There was a Spring Branch location, White Oak, and Cypress. Cypress was also known as Tin Hall, and that just got torn down in 2016. So, just north of those power lines you see over there, and right along Highway 6 over here, we're going to see if there's any remains. Now, this Schutzenbaren was established in 1883, and it was torn down in the late 40s when they turned this into a reservoir. They tore down all the buildings that were left in the reservoir. So all we're gonna find are gonna be maybe some foundation or something like that over here. But we're gonna go scrounging around over there and see what we can find. So here is the power lines at Highway 6 and we're just north of that, right along here. And this is where I'm gonna park my bike, right up here. So it should be somewhere in here. We just gotta walk around. So I found out what I could about this Bear Creek Gun Club over here. Uh, I mentioned it was established in 1883 and they would meet out here after church on Sunday. Uh, they would have an oompa band would be playing under the tree Perhaps this tree right here. It's dead now, but it definitely would date back to that era. And right here, you can see there's some kind of footing here. And this tree is placed right at the end of this footing. So I'm sure that this goes back to that era right here. Cool. Uh, then after the Oompa band in the afternoon, of course, they'd be drinking beer all day long. They were German. They would have the gun shooting competition and it was target shooting. And that was a big deal. And that was a tradition they brought back from Germany. Then after the, uh, the shooting competition, they would sit down for dinner. And after dinner, they had the dance. And they had this octagon shaped dance hall out here and attached to it was the dining room. Oh, okay, here, look at this right here. So this piece of footing got uplifted when the tree fell over here. But there's more of a cement here. I don't know if this is a foundation or a boundary line or something. But it continues over here. And then there's another huge oak tree right here that had to have been here back in the day. So maybe this was the tree that the Oompop band was playing under. And this one is still alive, still has leaves on it, even though it's mid-December. Part of this one's dead. And it's placed at the end of this cement footing right here. And so was the other large oak tree. So I bet you it did mark a corner or something. Cool. Look at the size of this tree. It's got to be, oh, geez, uh, three feet in diameter at least. Awesome. There's an old footing. 
and if you look at the concrete you can tell that a lot of the cement has worn away and you can now you can see a bunch of the aggregate you can tell how long that's been out here there's another huge tree over here so here's the third huge oak tree out here and this one looks totally dead what a shame so this is a flood control reservoir so once every two years or so this gets several feet of water in here and the trees don't really like that and I think that's why these trees died but for sure these oak trees dated back to that time period I'm sure and this is another one of those cement uh, foundations we were on the other side over there so there's a whole foundation line going over there and there's those two big huge oak trees over here over there and then this one is right in line as well so i bet you these did mark like a corner of the dance hall or something they had these oak trees planted here there's a couple more footings over here one there and here And then over here, something unusual, I don't know if it is anything, but there's a mound right in the center here in between those two foundation lines. And I don't know what it is, but that's unusual for out here. I've been all over and you just don't find a mound like that in the middle of nowhere. If you use your imagination, and you try real hard, you can almost hear the Oompa band playing under the tree over there. And if you squint, and you look over in that direction over there, you can almost see the octagon-shaped dance hall. 